Hey, Riley Besties, it's Anna, and welcome back to the Writing with Anna New podcast, where we talk about all things writing. In today's episode, I am actually extremely excited to talk about how to start a writing channel and a writing sort of, yeah, YouTube, become an author tuber, writer tuber. And honestly, when I started to think about like what I was going to say in this episode, I was just thinking about how weird it was that I myself can call myself a content creator and like a writer who makes writing content. To me, that's so weird because I feel like it wasn't, you know, too long ago since I was making just random craft little videos. Um, I'm not sure if you even remember, but I used to make rainbow loom videos. Yeah, I used to do that. And now like it's so quick. I feel like like last year I kind of just started to make um, writing content and now it's been like a full year and I'm like, wow, I've made it and I am so, so, so excited. But Let's go ahead and get on to the video. So, of course, if you are actually going to be, you know, even if you are thinking about making a writer tube sort of channel, I say go for it. Just go for it. It's so fun, so amazing. And I guess I wanted to first talk about like um, just the sort of things that have its perks with having an author tube channel and things that are just really, really good that will help you also with your writing career and also, of course, your YouTube channel as a source of income, as a cute little hobby, as a way to explore sort of these options. And I think it's so, so great. So I guess the first thing um, that's amazing that I've found that's awesome since starting a author tube channel is that it's extremely motivating to write. Even just, you know, having a vlog and you forcing yourself to vlog a day in your life um, as a writer and stuff like that, or like vlog NaNoWriMo especially, that's an amazing, an amazing, amazing way to keep you kind of motivated and on top of things um, when you are writing, of course, because you're going to be filming yourself, you're going to be talking about your projects, and you're going to also be getting inspired and also extremely excited about your projects. So there's that sort of awesome advantage. Also, it helps you have more reach and connection with a lot of people. I think especially if you don't have any writer friends or you kind of find it hard to connect with those around you or you may be in just an isolated area or town in your country and there's not many people. And I think you can turn on, um, turn, sorry, to online and finding friends online. I've recently just um, connected with a friend through my YouTube channel and without my YouTube channel, I wouldn't have been you know, even able to meet her, this beautiful, beautiful person. She was actually in one of my podcast episodes. Um, no, not my podcast episodes. I was in one of her podcast podcast episodes, sorry. And uh, yeah, we connected there. And then, of course, we did a live just recently, just today and yesterday. That was so, so fun. So we did a live together and those sorts of things. Yeah, they kind of allow you to connect with people and um yeah make friends online I've always wanted an online friend and finally after like how many years of doing YouTube like six years of doing YouTube I have finally been able to find someone and of course I guess one year of doing RatterTube that's really quick so again it can help you connect with people um the last thing that I kind of have on my little list is it allows you to look back on your projects I think especially if you love to journal if you love to just keep track of things and like reminisce on things, like old photos, old videos, having a YouTube channel definitely helps with that because you're going to be talking about your projects. You're going to be seeing where you're at, you know, what your workout is, how your writing is, and even just like a video. I, for example, have just finished my book, my NaNoWriMo project today, and that's actually why I did not post a podcast episode yesterday because I totally forgot and I was just focusing, focused on like, yeah, writing my book. And anyways, this morning, I looked at my first week NaNoWriMo vlog and I looked back and I was like, wow, that seems so long ago, but I remember starting my book, like this book that I finished today, and it just felt so cool and nostalgic and amazing. I'm just like, wow, I've come so far and it's so, so fun. Okay, so with that kind of, I hope I sold you, um, definitely, yes. Start a YouTube channel, start an author tube channel if you've been thinking about it uh, for a long time. I think if you're thinking about it, that's a big sign that you just got to bite the bullet and start. So how do you start? What you, what should you do? What sort of tips do I have for you? Um, so let's get into that right now. Okay. <clears throat> so number one tip 
is consistency. I cannot stress enough that in order to kind of get more views, kind of get yourself out there, kind of really try and build up your brand and your videos and the way that you edit and shape your content, consistency is going to help you so, so much. Uploading a, like a, you know, a few times a week is definitely something that I did when I started. I mean, I still do. Sometimes I upload four times a week and it's something that just really drives you. And if you are truly passionate, of course you will burn out. But I think especially if you're starting, you know, strive for consistency and to just keep uploading videos, no matter if you think, oh, this isn't going to get a lot of views or like, oh, this isn't really relevant at this time or like, oh, maybe people won't like it. Like, don't think about that. Just post it. Just post it. I don't understand people and like YouTubers who are like, oh yeah, I filmed that video, but I ended up scrapping it. Why would you scrap it? Just upload it if you already edited and everything. Like, it's a video and it deserves to be out through the world. And I just think consistency and making sure you upload as much as you can, especially as you start, it will help you just build on your skills, know your audience and yeah, build your channel. Okay. Number two, it is this whole idea. I was talking to my friend about this the other day, but it's the whole idea of trying and just trying, like trying and failing, but like trying and trying and like just doing it. The sort of metaphor that I've kind of made up for myself is when I was little and I was in school, I used to always look at the pretty girls and they'd all, all have their beautiful hair done by their mothers and stuff like that. My mom doesn't braid. So I had to teach myself. And when I started to braid my hair, it looked terrible. It looked so bad. And I did like all these cool little hairstyles, but it looked so messy and you could see all the gaps in my hair and everything it was all, you know, messy and stuff like that. But I still wore it to school. I still wore it. It's the same with my eyeliner. I know it's kind of different, but like the same with my eyeliner. I used to be so bad at eyeliner. I mean, I still am, but I used to still wear it out. I used to just go out there with what I had and show, show the world that I kind of tried. And that helped me build my confidence in my stuff, in the things that I've learned, my skills, whilst also, yeah, just practicing. Because I guess you can, you know, what I'm kind of saying, sorry, what I'm trying to say about this is you won't create a video unless you're going to post it and see how it goes, right? You have to post that video to see sort of the lessons you've learned from that. What's the, what's the point of editing and, you know, creating a video that you, you, you're you passionate about, but you just don't use it and you'll be like, oh, I'm just practicing my editing. But you got to like push it out there and get feedback. Do you know what I mean? So I think trying and trying and then failing and trying is so important. And that's literally my worth work ethic. When you are like starting something new, you just have to show people. If you're starting drawing, show people your work, post it online. You know, you have to show that you're trying. And I think that's such a great way to start your author tube channel. The last thing that I have for you guys as a huge tip also is to simply be yourself. And I know you're probably like, oh, that's so original. I know, but it is true. I honestly get really scared when I talk to people about my projects in real life, for example. And I'm like, am I being, being too enthusiastic? Am I being too like crazy and um, just like excited? But that's terrible. Like I, that's how I am. And I shouldn't be stopping myself from being like that. And I think my videos and the way I express myself in my videos, I've heard from a lot of beautiful people that apparently my like excitement shines through, you know, the screen and you people can maybe hear it and feel it. Um, just like how excited I am about my projects and characters and stories and like my channel and you guys, like I am very, very excited. And again, like if that's who you are, don't stop that, you know, freak out about the character in your particular scene you're working on, like share it with the world. Don't kind of hold yourself back. Don't just kind of film yourself, you know, getting up for the day and writing on your computer and not talking about it like talk about it and that is what's going to be like the point of difference in your channel that you are open to talk about your stuff because I've said this a lot but I feel like a lot of author tubers are very closed off about their 
sort of projects and that's totally fine like I I definitely understand why because they're obviously striving to publish their work and they don't want spoilers or people stealing their work and stuff like that but I honestly love it because it inspires people and that in itself makes me inspired like when I create videos where I'm reading your guys's comments or like reading your guys' work and like chapters or like reacting to your characters. That makes me so excited. And you guys commenting on my videos saying how much I've helped you and then you explaining stuff in your story. Like that inspires me when you say that I inspire you. And that's just so, so fun. So I guess where I was going with that is just be yourself and yeah, just just be yourself. Um, But that's the end of this episode. I know only a few people will probably listen into this since not many people are very up to studying a channel because of course it's a lot of work but trust me it's so so fun it's like my favorite hobby and I think about it every single day like I feel like I want this to be my job in the future if that's possible to be a content creator and a writer oh that the roll so nicely off the tongue doesn't it amazing anyways guys thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next episode bye everyone